Hello, it's Igor from the future. I already know the results and there will be several tests where this bevel lab nylon will be stronger than the maximum limit of my equipment. Try to guess in which test is. Welcome back to another bamboo lab filament testing video and this time they are nylons PS6. If you're not familiar, PS6 is stronger compared to the P812, but it is more sensitive to moisture. Now here I have uh, two versions, uh, one is the glass fiber and the other is reinforced with carbon fibers. Few specifications from the website, it has great dimensional stability and I know that these fibers help with this and uh, usually the nylons has a great temperature resistance. Now something what I cannot test but from more companies I can see this information is that it has great chemical resistance and uh, something which I can test actually that this is tough material so this means it performs great on the impact test. Here you can see the prices, but the glass fiber is available in eight colors currently until the carbon fiber is available only in black color. Don't forget that this requires some hardened steel nozzle and extruder, so if you are using the Bamboo Lab P1S, in that case not only the nozzle, but also you have to replace the extruder. Now according to the Bamboo Lab, 0.4 mm nozzle is enough and I will do the testings with uh, this nozzle. If everything will be okay, then this will be for this video, but maybe in a separate video I will test it with 0.6 mm nozzle to see if there's any bigger difference in the strength or just in the print quality. On the box of the glass fiber we can find the information about print temperature which is between 260 and 290 degrees Celsius. On the carbon fiber version we cannot see print temperatures but we can see highlighted information about the drying so maybe it is more sensitive to the moisture I'm not sure. Actually in both cases they are very sensitive to moisture so usually even the printing I'm printing from the filament dryer and immediately after the printing it goes to some resealable bag with some desiccant inside. Even from this packaging we can see that this is more sensitive to moisture because this kind of packaging is much better compared to these foils. And uh, I will open them before the printing, they will get just one hour of drying, but the printing will be from the filament dryer. The bag is resealable, I have to cut it off this ceiling line. And it is on high temperature spool, which can be heated up to 90 degrees Celsius, you know, for the drying. And of the filament is locked and immediately I want to see how brittle is this filament. Oh yes, very brittle. <laughs> the printing will be almost out of the box, but it will get one hour of drying and then the printing will be from the filament dryer. Different settings in the slicer, 275 on the nozzle, 100 on the bed and 8 will be the max flow. And here you can see the different part cooling settings. Printing was without any problems. And I think the glue is needed here as a separation layer. Wow, this glass fiber looks pretty nice in this blue color. And it is also on a 90 degrees Celsius pool. And let's see how brittle is this filament. Ah, yes, same like a carbon fiber. It also goes to the filament dryer for one hour and then I will start the printing. In the meantime, end of the filament is glued because it is too brittle to go through those holes. And it goes to this vacuum bag because I have to keep it dry, otherwise I would need two weeks to dry it on 30 degrees Celsius. I already tested this earlier. Actually, in the meantime, I got the filament dryer, which is able to dry the filament up to 85 degrees Celsius. Well, we are coming soon, maybe in a few weeks. Different settings in the slicer, 265 on the nozzle, 100 on the bed and 10.5 will be the flow. And this is the default part cooling. Nice printing without issues. Glass fiber is printed too. Nice objects. All test objects are printed, almost ready for mechanical testing. And I also have some test objects which will be annealed. And I will not start the mechanical testing immediately because the nylon absorb moisture from the air, not only the filament, but also the test objects. And after 10 days or two weeks, it will be very close to that stable state and their mechanical properties will be stabilized. And they look fantastic. I mean, these overhangs and everything is so great that I decided to print some benches too. And these are the best looking benches I ever printed so far. And this is the first time I printed them from the nylon. Absolutely, I cannot see even one issue with them. Anyway, until I'm waiting, I have the Bembole polycarbonate test in the progress and I have it in uh, three colors. And the video will probably finish when you are watching this video. I'm starting with annealing and the objects will be in position as they are printed. 
and the oven is preheated to 100 degrees Celsius. And the timer is set to one and a half hours. The annealing is on a halfway and I cannot see any kind of the deformation on the test objects. They cool down together with the oven. And visually I cannot see any deformation on these objects. And I also measured them to check the shrinking and I noticed that for some reason the carbon fiber version is slightly bigger. The design dimension is 80 millimeters. Glass fiber versions are very accurate. This is not a needle version. And this is the annealed version. So the annealing doesn't deform them too much. But for some reason this carbon fiber version are slightly bigger. Maybe the floor is a little bit bigger or something like that. I'm not sure. And I can recognize this surface on the carbon fiber version, especially on this top one which is annealed and this is a sign of the little bit bigger flow rate. Just to see if there is any bigger difference in the weight, this is the regular version. 3.381 grams and this is annealed version. 3.372, so a little bit lighter but I'm sure maybe this is because of the annealing and it has less moisture in it, but the difference is not big. I almost forgot if somebody is curious about the glass fiber version. 3.551 and this is the annealed version 3.531 so again a little bit lighter I think during this annealing it lost all the moisture but I didn't measure them before the annealing too and now two weeks later they became very close to that stable state and I can start the mechanical testing then tests are test with horizontal printed objects and these are the average values you can see now and this is the annealed version and again the average values and now the layer adhesion regular and this is the annealed version and the average values in the test are test both very strong on the layer adhesion test the carbon fiber version is good but the glass fiber is below acceptable on a shared test I will have horizontally and vertically printed test objects, but I don't have the annealed versions. These are horizontally printed. The first time I couldn't break these test objects because the max limit of this scale is 200 kilograms. These are printed in vertical position, but even then these values are quite good. Definitely it looks like we have very special material here. This was the first time I wasn't able to share these test objects. The max on this crane scale is 200 kilograms, and I can see that the glass fiber was much closer to be shared, but the carbon fiber version is significantly stronger. I believe that uh, this brake load would be approximately 240 kilograms or similar. The torque or twist test, and I have horizontally and vertically printed test objects, but I don't have the annealed versions here. And one more time I want to mention that pay attention to the quality of these printings. These are horizontal printed objects and I am measuring the load at 90 degree rotation. And also I'm recording the maximal load, but this is less important for me. And these are printed in vertical position and usually they break very suddenly, except this carbon fiber version. Of course different brake types and uh, usually this printed in vertical position breaks more suddenly like we saw with this glass fiber version. But first time in this test I could make 90 degree rotation. This is what we could saw with this carbon fiber version. Very impressive. Three point bending test and here you can see all those plays but I am placing them one by one and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is under 1.25 kg load and now under 2.5 kg. This is under 5 kilograms and under 10 kilograms and almost no additional deformation on these test objects during the time. After this test it is hard to see if there is any permanent deformation because this annealed version has some warping after the annealing process. And now the crib test the deformation under the constant load and theoretically the annealing should really help here and these two objects are annealed. I already measured them, noticeable less deformation on the carbon fiber version compared to the glass fiber version and also noticeable less deformation on annealed version compared to the regular materials. And in all four cases these are good values and you will see if it will stay like so. This is day 5, I already measured them 
and I can see less deformation on the carbon fiber version compared to the glass fiber version. And also I can see that annealing helps, but what is new experience for me that basically this nylon almost doesn't creep, especially this one, look at this, almost no additional deformation compared to the day one. And actually this is uh, better than some ABS filaments too. Now let's remove the load. After this test, almost no permanent deformation on these test objects, maybe just a little bit more on these uh, non annealed versions. The temperature test in the oven, these are regular versions and these are annealed, and I believe that they will start to deform above 200 degrees Celsius, but uh, this is very close to the maximal temperature of my apparatus. But I will stop the experiment here and uh, I will check how soft they are. This is very fast speed up video, 20 minutes in only a few seconds. And uh, you will see, I couldn't see any sign of the deformation, even on 220 degrees Celsius. It is 225 degrees Celsius and I have to stop the experiment now. It became sticky, the carbon fiber version. The glass fiber version, not so much. Okay, so 220 is too much for these materials, but they are quite hard. I'm not really sure how to evaluate this test, I mean it is quite obvious that this is too much for the nylon, but uh, what is its limit, uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe around 200 degrees Celsius. Here is one practical example. This filament dryer has the hot air of almost 100 degrees Celsius and new units arrive with this uh, shield or French shroud. My didn't, so I printed this from the nylon. The impact test and I'm starting with the annealed version on my DIY impact tester. And if they will not break, in that case the regular versions I will test on eBay tester because it can measure much higher values. And the reason for this that I, with the regular materials I want to have measurable data because I want to add this to that uh, summary table for my Patreon supporters. Glass fiber annealed. Zero position. Carbon fiber annealed. Glass fiber regular. Carbon fiber regular. I was worrying a little bit that they will not break, but let's analyze the pictures. You will see the difference is not big, but I sort them from the most brittle to the toughest material. This is PS6 glass fiber version. This is PS6 carbon fiber version, which is annealed. And then the carbon fiber version, regular. And the toughest is the glass fiber, which is annealed. It is hard to make the conclusions here, which type is better. Maybe we can just make a conclusion that the difference is not big. And now the results, and as always, you can download this table from my techfund.com website, and these two lines will be added to that summary table for my Patreon supporters. Let's start with the creep test, and here you can see the dimension distance between two reference surfaces, and smaller values are better, and uh, we can see that the glass fiber version has more deformation, but in both cases the annealing helps. But the difference between two days, we can see here, that's the creeping. And this is new to me, basically after day one or day two, it stopped with deforming, no creeping for the nylon. On the tensile test, uh, the carbon fiber version was stronger compared to the glass fiber. And again, in both cases, the annealing significantly helped. And I left here the same scale, so we can see the layer adhesion. The carbon fiber version have a good adhesion, but the glass fiber version, this is below the acceptable. But in both cases, the annealing didn't help. On the shear stress, well, this is the first time I couldn't break these test objects, so their load was bigger than 200 kilograms, which is the maximal for my crane scale. On the vertical imprinted objects, uh, they broke on quite big loads actually, but uh, the carbon fiber version was stronger. Here the layer adhesion is important. On three point bending test, uh, this is a deformation after 30 seconds under these loads. But maybe this is more interesting where we can see the deformation under these loads after 130 and 60 seconds. Smaller values are better, and we can see the carbon fiber version is better, but there is no big difference between annealed or regular versions. But with the glass fiber version, we can see that the annealing helped. 
on the torque or twist test uh, i record the loaded 90 degree rotation and this is more important for me that's this is what we can see on this graph and here again the carbon fiber version was stronger on the vertically printed test objects where the layer adhesion is important uh, again the carbon fiber version was stronger and this was the first time i could make almost 90 degree rotation before the break the glass fiber breaks suddenly like any other material in this test so far and on the ISO impact test, uh, there is no big conclusion to which type is better or uh, kneeling or regular, but maybe the conclusion is that uh, the difference is not big. And um, this is tougher compared to the PLA PTG, but uh, not tougher compared to the ABS, for example. On the temperature test, well, you saw I stopped the experiment on 225 degrees Celsius and it didn't start with deformation, but I can see some permanent uh, damaging on the material, so I'm not really sure what is the maximum limit here. I will leave 200 degrees Celsius here. And also I measured the shrinking and interesting that the uh, glass fiber has better dimensional accuracy. With the carbon fibers, I could measure some uh, bigger dimensions. Well, these nails are really new experience to me very strong materials and I never saw that uh, the nylon don't creeps and usually this was the biggest uh, disadvantage of 3D printed nylon I tested so far but this is something new so I'm very curious about uh, the Bamboo Lab PPA CF filaments and also about their PPS CF now the Bamboo Lab don't promote that filament so they will not send to me uh, so I have to buy it but um, just a small reminder from the average video, I have approximately 5,000 views and I earn approximately $10. Take a look at the price of the PPS CF. But don't worry, I have Patreon supporters and basically they keep this channel alive. And thanks to their donations, I'm able to do these kind of videos too. And now the difference between exactly these two materials. Well, I can see only three advantages of the glass fiber filament. It is cheaper, available in more colors, and it has better dimensional accuracy. In all other cases, the carbon fiber version is better. I think the biggest disadvantage here, for me at least, is the weak layer adhesion. Maybe I can raise the temperature, but uh, I use the different settings in the Bamboo Studio here. And a few words about the safety, because I know I will get this kind of comments too. And there is some trend between some YouTubers who likes to promote that Carbon fibers will kill you, creating some drama. This is good for the views, but my approach is a little bit different. I contacted 10 different companies asking about their opinions, and I can see very big similarity with the safety in the woodworking industry. For example, if you are doing this regularly, yes, you have to wear safety glasses, mask, gloves, and similar. I will tell you my example. I work with the wood every two or three months, and usually I don't wear this safety equipment, but when I'm working with the metal, which I work maybe weekly with this, then I, yes, I wear safety glasses, I wear gloves because I'm tired of getting those uh, chips in my skin and similar. So this is my approach and my opinion about this safety. If you are doing this regularly, then yes, follow all those instructions. If you are doing this only from time to time, then you have to measure the risk and decide yourself. But of course, in case I have to drill or extend some hole in carbon fiber because it was too small, in that case, I try to do it outside and I pay attention to the direction of the wind so I will not inhalate it. But something similar I would do with the woodworking too. This was my experience with this Bamboo Lab nylons. I hope you will subscribe and click the notification bell button too and follow me to my next similar videos. Thank you for watching and happy printing!